the Eagle has landed. Roger, twang, Tranquility. We copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. Good evening, everyone. It is Friday the... I think it's the 15th of November. I've just arrived at Salachie Bay on Loch Lomond. We're just going to have an easy camp tonight. A nice campfire and then I might do Ben Lomond tomorrow or one of the other mountains just to get some snow under my feet. So uh, it'll also be the first test of the wee Crux X1 raid. So it should be good fun. Uh, a nice wee easy night. Weather's very benign. Hardly a breeze. Stars are out. Pretty chilly. Just above zero at the moment. But it's uh, looking perfect. Yeah, this looks not bad. I think probably I've got plenty of tents in here if Richard turns up later on, which he might do with his tent. We can get three of us in. No hassle at all. Looks okay. And a nice wee view out towards the loch. First night in the crux, so looking forward to using it. Very calm night. It's not in any way going to test it or me, but it'll be fine. It's nice just to get out. That actually clicked into place a lot easier than the first time. If you saw my last video when I first got it, it was a bit of a faff, even though I edited it. That was actually quite quick. Yeah, absolute cinch to put up. Yeah. I think the last peg and that's that, I don't care how it looks. Oh, come on, sort it out. Put it up right. There'll be a storm will blow up in the middle of the night and it'll blow down. Ah, I'm the first one, I'm wrapped up, okay. That's more like it. Fresh onion, olive oil. Ah, it looks a bit more arty than mine. That's a light backpacking. And the law say, why are you using a stove when you got a nice big fire there? Just been invited over by our neighbours to go and have a look through their telescope at the moon, which is a fantastic night. So there it's up there. So we thought it's well worth going over for a wee chat with them and get a look. I don't think I'm going to get much better than that. Oh, that's brilliant. That's good. Yeah, we'll pop that in the video. Yeah, much better than looking through the viewfinder. Yeah, a little less uh, yeah. dodgy on the eye, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> it's really good. Cool. How good is that? I'm going to go with the injo. I'll tell you what I'll do, actually. You Did you say you'd forgotten your earplugs? Aye. <laughs> <laughs> you snoring now. <laughs> ah, yes, that might be a slight issue. Hey, hope. About zero degrees last night, a very slight breeze if not totally still, uh, no condensation inside the tent which was great. I had the door mostly sealed until phew, 2, 3 in the morning and then it opened up the mesh vent a bit more. 
In fact, I completely opened the mesh just because it felt a bit claustrophobic, like there wasn't enough oxygen in there. But uh, yeah, it worked well. Right, time to go and climb a hill. Tarmigan side and then back down via the tourist route. Puffed. This wee illness I've had for the last week is killing me. I really don't feel fit even though I'm carrying full winter gear. They seem that far away, but I still reckon it's maybe a couple of hours at the pace I'm going. Slow as a week in the jail. I am blowing out my ass, as they say. I need to get some hill fitness. This week has just killed me, I think, and uh, I'm losing the what little condition I had, despite a loss of weight. <laughs> anyway, hopefully it'll get better when we hit the snow. section you can see on the left going up to the summit there looks a wee bit sketch. I uh, don't know if I'll certainly get the axe out, I don't know if I'll need crampons. Forgot about this wee lock actually. I camped up here. Oh, I must have been my teenage years or t we're talking 30, 40 years ago. But it is a nice wee spot, we need to come back in the winter. First time this year, but it looks like it might be a bit sketchy going ahead here. So I'm going to just pop them on. I can see some crampon marks already and a lot of people struggling ahead, so better safe than sorry. They're now probably about 100 feet.
hell's that up there? I think somebody's claimed the wrong summit with some flags. <laughs> What a contrast coming down this side, it's like a wee Lowry painting, look. A wee black line of figures all the way down the hill. Uh, the light's gone really flat now, I think the weather's closing in a bit. But it's one busy hill. Oh, well there you go, that was about five and a half hours I think. I'm absolutely knackered, I'm not fit for anything, so I'm going to head home for a nice shower and a relaxing, hopefully a relaxing Saturday night. So thanks again for watching, I hope you enjoyed this wee micro-adventure, 24 hours at Loch Lomond and Ben Lomond. And uh, I will see you again shortly for the next one. That's one small step for man. One... I have to for me, okay.